whoa, I might cry because this is some serious betrayal. At one point, y'all may have even felt like a family. This feels mostly like business. So maybe this is a business situation that you're dealing with, or maybe this feels like business because that's what somebody is, how somebody is justifying their actions. I thought we were a family. I thought we looked out for each other. And somebody's excuse was, hey, that's business. Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So welcome to your general energy reading for the month of April of 2021. Yes, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a general energy reading, so we could be talking about anything here. Love, family, career, relation, like we could be talking about anything, yes? Also, because of that, the roles can be reversed. So if I'm telling the story, but the way that I'm narrating it does not necessarily fit for your life. However, if you were to change the roles, it does fit, then take it that way. Just please do not try to force anything into your life that doesn't naturally fit there, yes? So, we are going to be using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for this month and uh, in tune, staying in tune with the spring season, which we're in right now, I felt like the, uh, it would be really awesome to use the U Oracle of the Unicorns to close out the reading today, yeah? Uh, I am available for private readings. If you would like to get one with me, just check the information in the description box below. Also, I highly recommend that if you are vibing with me as a reader to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link for that can also be found in the description box below. Yeah. All right, Pisces, not Pisces. I'm so sorry. I just did Pisces energy, um, Scorpio. However, you could be dealing with a Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart. Also, Scorpio, when I was pulling your pre-shuffle energy, I wanted to say February. So, and, and what it, it seems that there is a cycle or there's some sort of, I want to say a business deal or something that's coming to a close right now that may have been the works for a very long time. Um, and it may be something that either started in February and is now finally coming to a close in April or it came to a close in February and we're just, and now you're in a position to like, to talk about this or to process what actually happened in this situation, all right? February might be a significant month, month for you and or Pisces might be a significant energy for you. So you, maybe you wanna check the Pisces reading, maybe you wanna check the Pis uh, for April, maybe you also wanna check the Pisces reading for February, or maybe you wanna, may wanna go back to the Scorpio reading for February, that might be helpful to you. Anyway, your pre-shuffle energies consist of the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Five of Wands upright, and the, and the, uh, the Emperor upright. At the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. Okay. So what I feel like is happening here, Scorpio, I do kind of feel like this was some sort of business deal in which you came out on top but basically your authority is what won out, won the situation here. And it got to a point where, not to say you were necessarily being selfish, but it got to a point where it's just like this King of Wands energy came through and this was like the deciding factor of the King of Wands because ultimately you are, you were in this authoritative, this powerful energy with the Emperor, but the Emperor represents all of the kings. So that's the king of wands, cups, swords, pentacles. Yes, wands, cups, swords, and pentacles. But the deciding factor was, I feel like you put your foot down here and said, look, you know what? I'm doing what I want. It was in opposition to this energy, this five of wands energy. The five of wands is a differing of opinion. And there may have been some individuals that were trying to get you to go in a certain direction. Um, there may have been some deceit involved in that. Uh, there may not, it doesn't have to be that way, but I kind of feel that for somebody. Um, it may have been, maybe the direction that they may have wanted you to go in really only fit their agenda. 
and ultimately didn't line up with what you, you with what you knew you were in the business of. Um, But ultimately, the deciding factor was you put your foot down. You said, no, I'm taking control here or I'm the authority here. And that effectively ended this cycle. This does feel like for, some of, for somebody here or for some of you, this feels like it was an ongoing thing. And you finally put it to rest by allowing your power and authority to shine through to be the deciding factor and to basically not give a damn what other people had to say about it. Five of Wands, all right? Okay, let's uh, clear that up and move on here. Give this a few clearing shuffles. All right. All right, Scorpio, let's see what else we have for you this month. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations of the energies for Scorpio, for the general energies for Scorpio, for the month of April of 2021. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, five shuffles here. Yeah, this has something to do with Piscean energy. Maybe it's Pisces season, or maybe you have Pisces in your chart or you're dealing with a Pisces, but um, you might want to check that out because I'm hearing Pisces in my head again, okay? Five shuffles, one. This is two. my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021. This is a three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Scorpio. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Scorpio. We have starting you off with, ooh, with the Nine of Swords. And yet this doesn't feel like your energy. This feels like somebody else's energy. Huh. Underneath the Nine of Swords is the King of Cups. This is you, Scorpio. King of Cups uh, officially... Can represent any any water sign, but officially represents you. Uh-oh, Jinxie's got another lizard. And here she comes in the house with it. <laughs> anyway, underneath the King of Cups is the Five of Cups. And underneath the Five of Cups is the Queen of Pentacles. And now her brother's all like, wait, I want some. You hear them? Well, that's Orion. And there she goes. Releasing it into the house just for me to find later. Anyway, so Scorpio, what's going on here? Um, honestly, Scorpio, I hear I heard you put your foot down. And you did what you knew was right. King of Cups. And maybe some of this energy, this anxiety, this fear is a little bit on your side. Or on the side of the person who has is, is sitting in the King of Cups energy. Yes, the King of Cups officially represents Scorpio, but it doesn't have to represent the Scorpio in this situation. Again, general reading, take it as it resonates. Fit the roles into your life as they fit naturally. However, somebody did something here that they knew was right. They knew it was the right thing to do. And yeah, it created a bit of turmoil. It created a situation in which maybe there is a... a um, this kind of feels like there is a there is a partnership of some sort. Again, it could be business. I am kind of feeling that for some of you. But there is a partnership here that is done. 
Five of Cups. Somebody did something here that probably was a little bit sneaky. But ultimately, uh, uh, whomever is in this King of Cups energy is also in the Queen of Pentacles energy. So what this, and the Queen of Pentacles here would represent knowing your self-worth, knowing what it is that you bring to your table, uh, and bring to the table, honoring your value. I'm literally seeing a board meeting right now, like a boardroom, a big meeting, a big table. This really could have something to do with business. And I feel like the Nine of Swords energy is someone feeling like, damn, I really fucked up a real good thing. I feel like somebody tried, to, somebody tried to take advantage of the other person and the other person caught on and said, oh, no, you don't, buddy. And this could be a situation, Scorpio, in which y'all have been working together for some time. That Wheel of Fortune energy. Somebody feels like they were slighted here. But then they stood up. They did what they knew was right. They honored their worth. Even if that means you were leaving, you're the individual that's like leaving the company. And this company is still going on or this business group or business venture is still moving on without you. But you stood up and honored your worth and said, oh, no, enough is enough. We're not doing this any longer. And ultimately ended up removing yourself from the situation or needing to be removed from the situation. That could also be why this Nine of Swords energy here could represent you. But the, pro but the thing is, I feel like for the most part... You know, you might be in this position of thinking, well, shit, what am I going to do now? Don't worry about that. Because what's more important right now is your integrity. And that's what you have preserved in taking the higher road and doing what you know it was doing, doing what you knew was right, King of Cups. Honoring your self-worth. Ooh, chow, look at this. Queen of Pentacles. Underneath the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Six of Swords. Bye, Felicia. Honey. Honey. This is literally saying, if you're not going to honor my worth, if you're not going to value me as a team player, then I'm out of here. You can kiss my ass. Whoa. Whoa! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Whew. Take a breath. Let's move forward. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. We have, yep, we have the Three of Swords. Somebody got stabbed in the back. Someone was really mistreated here. Someone was betrayed. Absolutely was betrayed. Oh, three of Swords is coupled with the star, but there's healing involved with this. I do feel like if somebody has left a situation here and is afraid for the future, don't worry about it. Because ultimately, I feel like this was the right thing to do. I feel like if you hadn't made this decision to do what you know what was no, what you know was right, and to honor yourself is what I just heard, then you wouldn't be in a position right now to allow the universe to bring you something much, much better. Don't fret. Don't freak out. Don't focus on the what ifs and what's going to happen and this, that, and that. Don't focus on that. Just follow through. Keep moving. Okay. Follow your intuition, follow your gut. Your gut told you to get out of here and you did it. That was the first step, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading, you have the Four of Cups. So what this is kind of feeling like now is somebody here is in a mourning period, is in a period of um, sadness and denial and depression um, and I'm going to be honest with you, I understand. I really understand because it really does feel like somebody got stabbed in the back here in a pretty serious way by people that they thought they could trust. Y'all, this just flashed into my head. Yamaha may, may have even signed a contract thinking that all was copacetic and all was hunky-dory. Oh, shit. All right, well, you could have signed a contract knowing that there was a certain clause in this contract that would screw you over. But you overlooked that because you, you thought, I mean, these are my friends or like I've been doing business with this person for X amount of time. They would never use that against me. Feels like they did. And that's fucked up. 
So I feel like right now, somebody, and it's probably the individual that, number one, did the right thing, but it's probably the individual that's really not trying to accept anything from anybody right now, not even the universe. I feel like the universe is trying to console you and you may not be having it right now. All right, four of cups is coupled with the knight of pentacles. Okay, this is, and this is why, this is why I'm not so worried about this energy. All right, because you need, you need some time to heal. Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy, slowly but surely, okay? The Knight of Pentacles doesn't let any detail go unnoticed and unhandled and unaccounted um, for, all right? So what this is saying to me here is you may be in this denial, un uh, this type of denial energy right now, this Four of Cups energy, but I'm not so worried about it because ultimately it's gonna take you some time to heal from this. Um, and it, it just, it's a step-by-step -step process. I don't feel like you're going to be in this forever, okay? Maybe not even much longer. That Knight of Pentacles energy really just does say to me, this is a process of healing that you're just going to need to go through. And this is just one of those parts of the process, okay? All right. Uh, your challenge here in the first half of your reading, Scorpio, is the Nine of Wands. Oof. Um, I, uh, please... Forgive me, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody's pain right now, but yeah, this makes, I mean, I chuckled like that because this makes so much sense. Really feeling like you have to look over your shoulder right now. Maybe even feeling like you can't trust anyone. I'm sorry. I'm actually getting a little bit choked up with this. I'm sorry you have to do, you have to deal with this, Scorpio, because this is fucked up. You don't have to be suspicious of everyone. You don't. But ultimately, this is also part of the healing process you're going through as well. Nine of Wands is coupled with... Whoa. The Ten of Cups. I might cry. I really might cry. Because... <sighs> this is some serious betrayal. At one point, this may you y'all may have even felt like a family. I mean, I know this really feels this feels mostly like business to me. So maybe this is a business situation that you're dealing with, or what I just got was maybe this feels like business because that's what somebody is how somebody is justifying their actions. That's business for you. Whereas you or somebody was here thinking, I thought we were a family. I thought we looked out for each other. I thought we were supposed to take care of each other. I thought we were in this together. And somebody's excuse was, hey, that's business. Damn, Scorpio. Closing message or potential outcome is the world. Excellent. I mean, sure, you may see this card and think, okay, it's over, great. Doesn't make me feel any better, and you're right. You're right. But it's still over. And this could be potentially, because it's the world, which is major arcana, this could potentially be the end of this type of situation altogether which is even better because that means that you have the potential to never have to deal with this again. The world is coupled with, yup, you never have to deal with this shit ever again, Scorpio, ace of swords. Now you know, now you're that much the wiser. And quite frankly, now I'm feeling it. Somebody's feeling vindictive because they're like, oh, we're, I get it now. And now I can turn around and use this against you. Whoa. Okay, wait. Hold on. Slow your roll. Like, whoa. Let's not... Lo eee! Scorpio, wait. <laughs> wait. Before you pull the trigger, maybe you don't want to do that. Don't lose sight 
of your integrity. I know, I know, I know you want to tear this, ooh, you want to tear this motherfucker down. Ooh, I get it. But that may not be the wisest thing to do, Scorpio, or Crosswatcher. You know what's funny? Um, there was a meme that I saw recently that uh, describes one of like the, the signs, each of the signs most toxic traits or like how they act when they get angry that you very, like a side of them that you very rarely see. And for Scorpio, if I remember correctly, now this is just like, this is all for fun, but they often, they often resonate, right? For Scorpio, it was murders you in your sleep. And that's kind of, that's, that's kind of what I feel like somebody wants to do right now. I'm not condoning that. I am not saying to go out and murder someone. I would never say that, but that's what it feels like. Honor your feelings. That doesn't mean you have to follow through with it, but don't push it away. Recognize it and work through it and try to heal through it. Okay, let's move on to the second half of your reading here. Yes, first set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. We have the Queen of Cups now. Okay, so look, you have both the King and the Queen of Cups here. All right, first of all, the Queen of Cups is talking about in some situations, you guys knew exactly what was going on. Your intuition was in fact correct. All right, but also this is talking about emotional awareness and emotional boundaries. And that's exactly what puts you in the space to do the right thing with the King of Cups, to make the judgment call or to make the tough decision that ultimately was the right thing for you to make or do, okay? Queen of Cups is coupled with the Chariot. Excellent. So actually, this is a double dose of Cancerian energy. So maybe that'll resonate with you guys too. Maybe you have cancer in your chart. Maybe you were dealing with a cancer. Okay. But what this is saying here, this feel, this really feels like confirmation that your emotions and or your intuition are on point. Some of you may be feeling like you want to chop somebody's head off, but you're not going to let it get to you like that. You're going to take that energy and you're going to use that emotional strength to drive you forward. You're not going to let this stop you. You're not going to let this tear you down. You're not going to let this be the end of you. Emotional awareness is key here. And I feel like you have that because also not only does the queen of cups represent emotional awareness and emotional stability and, 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 and boundaries, but the chariot also represents emotional balance because it's your emotions. When you get your emotions balanced, when you get your light and your dark balanced and working and moving in tandem, that's what really drives you forward. Okay. Or what it can, it can drive you forward. Whew. All right. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading. You have the four of swords. Take a break. Take some time to rest and meditate. Take some time to heal. Take some time to maybe get your mind right if you're, if you're really seething over here, the world and the Ace of Swords. Like, take some time to get your mind right, to, to settle down a little bit, to trust your intuition, to trust the process, to relax and recuperate and heal. Four of Swords is coupled with death. Yeah because you're going through a transformation, but also Scorpio, here you are. This is officially your energy, along with the King of Cups, but the King of Cups can represent any water sign. This is officially you, but this is the transformation that you're going through. You need some time to heal. You need some time also to process this on a mental level, because I feel like some of you, your heads may still be reeling through this. Like, like really though, what the fuck just happened? I, I can't believe they did that to me. I can't believe I've been left in this position. Some of you really need to take some time to let your mind settle and let your mind get to the place where you can really wrap your head around what the fuck just went on, okay? 
your challenge, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading, we have the Emperor being the bigger person. But this is that energy that came through in the beginning of the reading. Some, are you, some of you are having to deal having to deal with the choice that you made but like the choice that you made was of the highest authority is what i just heard and some of you may be beating yourself up about it i'm i'm definitely feeling an energy of someone being like well i made my bed and now i've got to lay in it but it's not even as bad as those people that betrayed you why the hell let why in God, on God's green earth should you ever have to be obligated to stay connected to or stay in business with people that are just going to backstab you? And if you're going to make a decision to preserve yourself, to honor yourself, to make sure your well-being is good, why would it be a bad decision to walk away from this opportunity? This energy should not be the reason why you are beating yourself. You shouldn't be beating yourself up about this at all. And yet somebody is having trouble dealing with this. And that's okay. Don't get me wrong. That's human. I'm just, I'm just like, and I'm not trying to yell at you here. I'm not mad at you at all. I'm just trying to say like, yo, bro, sis, honey, like you made the right decision. The emperor is coupled with the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles represents teamwork. Was this really teamwork? If somebody could turn around and cut you out or somebody could turn around and backstab you like that without without even like without even batting a fucking eyelash. How the hell is that teamwork? Says the emperor. Whew. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Scorpio. Page of Pentacles. Starting over turning over a new leaf. You're finding yourself in a in a new position at a new level, quite frankly. I feel like honestly, Scorpio or whomever this is for, making this decision was the right decision for you to make because now you are placed in a position where you're on a level up. You're on a higher plane of a, a, a higher plane. And yes, you may have to find your footing again. You may have to start from scratch. But you still have the wisdom and the knowledge from that previous level to put forth moving forward. And this is a good position for you to be in because now you have the energetic space cleared away for something better to come forward towards you. Okay? Don't doubt that. You have made the right decision. Page of Pentacles is coupled with the Seven of Wands. Yep. Yep. Hey, yo, Ooh. look, y'all got me heated because if somebody, if this person tries to come back and offer you something else, man, don't you dare take that. I mean, you know what? Don't let me tell you what to do. But I know if I were in this position, I would not be able to trust these people any longer. Absolutely not. Absolutely fucking not. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 Yo, stay in this lane. That's what I feel like this Page of Pentacles and Seven of Wands energy is. Stay in your lane. Stay in this lane. Stay, in, stay on this new plane of existence. Do not go back. Please, please, either Scorpio or Crosswatcher, please do not go back. Okay? All right. Let's get your closing Oracle Guidance. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Scorpios here. Closing Oracle Guidance for Scorpio. Interesting. You have two, Scorpio. And I'm going to take them both. Whoa. First one you have is innocence. Take time to play. 
nurture your inner child, live with a childlike sense of wonder. And then you also have partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. I mean, damn, y'all. We're reading both of these. We're starting with innocence. Okay. Your inner child is the innocent aspect of yourself that still believes in magic and miracles without question. This inner child can be your greatest ally in creating your dreams, but only when he or she feels loved, safe, and is given permission to play. When your inner child is hurt, scared, or neglected, he or she can create sabotage, procrastination, or hold you back from achieving greater things in your life. This gentle unicorn mother and her sweet baby encourage you to pay attention to the child within and give him or her plenty of love, healing, and nurturing. Let them know it is safe to play. Put them in charge of engaging with the fun and magic in your life. If you suffered childhood abuse, bullying, or any other trauma, this card may be a message to seek out deep healing for those wounds so you can move on with your life. It may also be a call to live in more innocence by seeing the good in people and believing life is magical. Call on the baby unicorns to help you honor and love your inner child, to reclaim your innocence, and to spend more time living in wonder. Miracles will happen when you do. And then we have partnership. Oops, I passed it. There it is. Whew. Okay. This card encourages you to reach out and connect with trustworthy people who can work with you or support you as you build your dreams. Trying to do everything yourself is holding you back and you could free up so much time and energy by getting help. You could be stuck in a creative blind spot that someone with fresh eyes would easily see a solution to. Perhaps you are spending too much time cleaning and doing the laundry when you could be writing your book or launching your business. You may be in need of a life coach, an angel investor, an assistant, a personal trainer, an accountant, a business partner, a nanny, or even a cleaner. You know which area is draining your time and energy, so start taking inquiries and or start making inquiries and look for someone who will love to help out or be hired by you. When you do find possible candidates, be sure to trust your intuition on whom to take on. Ask for references and testimonials, but always go with your inner voice and the person whose energy feels best. These unicorns know that partnership may that partnerships make life more easy, fun, and magical. Delegating the tasks that drain you will free you up to step further into your brilliance. It is your time to shine, but you need a team behind you in order to soar to your next level of success. So I guess that's a message for someone out there who is like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to do this on my own. You don't have to do that. Because not everybody is going to betray you. Okay. All right, Scorpio, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading, all of the information is in the description box below. Also, check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. With that said, though, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>